This video will teach you how to use the inspection model to factor three types of trinomials. The first example asks you to factor the following expression using the inspection model for the equation x squared minus 2x minus 8. To begin, we're asked to factor, so we're going to have our final answer in a binomial form like we see below. And we're going to start by finding two numbers that multiply to give us negative 8 and add to give negative 2. Start by listing the factors of 8. And we're concerned with 2 and 4 for this example, so I can circle them and write them below. 2 comma 4. And notice that the two numbers have to multiply to give negative 8 and add to give negative 2. So I'm going to have to add a negative sign in front of the 4. So our numbers now become in our binomial x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 4. The second example asks us to factor using the inspection model for the equation 2n squared minus 2n minus 24, but notice that there's a number or there's a coefficient in front of the n squared term. What we're going to do first is we're going to take that coefficient out of all three terms, and it's the greatest common factor, so that will equal 2 times n squared minus n minus 12. And now we have to find two numbers that multiply to give negative 12 and add to give negative 1. Start by listing the factors of negative 12, or 12 in this example. And we're concerned with the two factors, 3 and 4. So I can circle those, and I can go ahead and write those on the side. Now, these factors have to multiply to give negative 12 and add to give negative 1. I need to add a negative sign to make that happen. And below our final answer will be 2 multiplied by n plus 3 all times n minus 4. The final example asks us to factor the following expression using the inspection model again for the equation negative 3m squared minus 18m minus 24. Okay, we're going to start by noticing that there's a, a coefficient in front of m squared and it's negative in this example. So we're going to take that out. That will be the greatest common factor, negative 3 times m squared plus 6m plus 8. So now we have to find two numbers that multiply to give positive 8 and add to give positive 6. So let's list the factors of 8. And we're concerned with 2 and 4 in this example. So let's write those down on the side. 2 comma 4. And we're looking for those two factors to multiply to give positive 8 and add to give positive 6. So that will happen. We can rewrite our final answer as negative 3 is the greatest common factor times m plus 2 multiplied by m plus 4. So there you go. That's factoring very, very quickly. Please give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below what video ideas you'd like to see.